Hello everyone, this is Sportimus here, back with another Transformers review. This time we'll be doing Transformers Armor Hide. However, it's not going to be Cybertron Armor Hide. It's going to be Movie Scout Armor Hide. Now, I said in my previous review that I was not going to get this fellow right, right here. Um, the reason being is I was satisfied with him, but um, after reviewing, uh, after viewing, excuse me, uh, Biker Trash's review of this version of Armor Hide, uh, I had a change of heart, and he really looks awesome. He's a really nice looking truck. Uh, the difference is being the first one being obvious is this one's black and this one's blue. Uh, they both share some gray accents. Uh, this one has a painted silver grill whereas this one's molded gray. He has blue, light blue uh, tinted windshield, painted windshield and his is uh, simply uh, silver and he has the yellow accents instead of the red and gray. I just got him out of the package so I still have a rubber band on him. So, take that out of the way. You. Um, otherwise they're the same figures. Uh, this one, this, the Cybertron one has the clear Cyber Planet key that's from Earth and this one has the Sector 7 key which is actually the Planet X key repainted and he has the Decepticon logo on the back of it. As you can kind of see that, I'm trying to reflect it in a way. There it goes, something like that. Anyway, they both work the same. Just like his, he has the uh, the grill feature where you pop this thing forward and He's got eight little friends waiting for uh, delivery. And uh, that also works on the robot mode. So, anyway, onto the transformation. Same way as this fella right here. You pull his top, top part upward. You roll out the feet. Pull his hip joint out. Put his legs apart. Now for his arms. Pull them apart. Twist. Twist. And you move him in. And you move him in. And the head is right here. Just pick it up. And turn it around. And that's armor hide. The black version. To show you a comparison, I'll just transform regular Cybertron armor hide here. If I don't drop them. I love these little things. They're, they're small. Uh, they're fun. They remind me of the G1 for some reason. And they probably shouldn't, but I don't know. I, I, I like the way they transform. It really reminds me of the the good old days. You know, a turn here, a twist there, and you got yourself a, a mighty little robot. <laughs> so... There we have armor hides. Now, of course, as you know, the cyber key still works. Hmm. Same thing. 
he's got his payload to deliver spring loaded just like the other one is now this one's joints are a little looser but not terribly bad uh, still works fine he has the uh, Sector 7 logo on his gun whereas Armor Height has the Autobot logo on his so anyway there they are together that's their comparison that's his key that's his key and uh, they're really nice I like these guys I really like the size I like the way they look the posability in these things is crazy I love it um, I was in the store actually looking for Air Raid I had a request for it um, I found him and I found a uh, clocker which I honestly did not expect to ever see again I haven't seen clocker since it first came out uh, on the Toys R Us movie, do, uh, movie uh, scout reissue things, but um, I had to put them back. Uh, I didn't have enough money on me. Usually, I pay pay by uh, either credit or debit card. I forgot to bring it with me. I thought I had it with me, but turns out when I was at the check stand, I didn't have it. So to avoid too much embarrassment, I pick one uh, clocker. I really don't really care for. Uh, I don't know why. He's not a bad figure. He's just not to my taste. And uh, Air Raid, to be honest with you, I, I'd rather have him than Air Raid. I, I saw three of them at the store, and there was only one of him. And he goes by real fast. Uh, Air Raid, maybe I'll see again. If I see him again, I'll pick him up. If not, well, we'll see. But I definitely highly, highly recommend this guy. Highly recommend him. He is boatloads of fun. It's amazing that something so simple can be so entertaining. And uh, he's like mini armor. He's like a mini Ironhide. He really is. And in fact, I'll show you. And uh, stick this guy on here. <laughs> just barely fits in frame <laughs> I like that guy this is uh, the Voyager class uh, movie Ironhide I haven't done a review on him because I know this sounds sad but I haven't really had an easy time transforming him and he's a bit of a pain in the butt getting back to truck mode so anyway but yeah, he's like the little bro of uh, Ironhide. So, they go well together. Anyway, this has uh, been another Transformers review, a little one in any case. Uh, if you have any requests, please, please, please drop me a line. I'll do what I can, and uh, I'll probably make a, a list of what I have, and uh, go from there. Um, but pick both of these guys up if you can. And, uh, I guess I'll see you next time. This guy gets a great, great score. I think I gave him a 10 out of 10 all the way across, and this is what he gets again. So, this has been another review. Hope you enjoyed it, and, uh, see you next time.